Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my video. Uh, now this video is going to be very short uh, because we are left with uh, only a single topic that we are discussing in my last video. Due to some problem, uh, I could not complete actually in the last video. So this video is going to complete the topic of asexual reproduction. Only one uh, topic uh, is left. Okay. So let's finish this topic, then uh, I'll be recording my next videos for the next topics, okay? <clears throat> Fine, so as you can see in the board that we were discussing about parthenogenesis, uh, apomixis and automixis, okay? So automixis, here we see that how uh, from the haploid uh, cells, the new generation becomes diploid again because the large egg cell and any one of the polar body they get fused and they form the new diploid cell that is 2n okay or another option is that the egg cell the chromosome sets okay the duplicate or the doubled so automatically the number of chromosome doubled it is n so it becomes 2n so 2n means it is becoming as the same of the parent cell okay now see the point is that if the parent is haploid, okay, the next generation has to be haploid or if the parent generation is diploid, the next generation has to be diploid in nature, okay. So, the, it is diploid, so it becomes ultimately diploid, okay. Now, here in this, you see here, the why now it is fusion is required here, okay, fusion. What happens is that in sexual reproduction, a male gamete should come and fuse with the egg cell, okay? But it is not sexual reproduction, no fertilization is going to happen, that's why the fusion in between them, okay? So that makes it diploid. Now in case of this, okay, see, the parent is diploid, I said the next generation has to be diploid. So, in case parent diploid, next generation is become, uh, become diploid, in between the gametes were haploid, that's why two haploid needs to be fused or the double doubling the chromosome number it becomes diploid now in case of this you see the parent is diploid but the gamete cells which are produced are already diploid because it is mitosis so the set of chromosome in the parent cell is same as a set of chromosomes in the daughter cells so there is no logic for fusion and all because they themselves is loaded with the full set of chromosome okay there is no need of fusion so these cells okay they themselves okay going to develop a new organism that is going to be deployed this also can develop on its own and become deployed because they themselves deployed okay so this is the automixis and the apomixis the parthenogenesis concept the last topic i'm left with it is the vegetative propagation It is a vegetative propagation that I am going to discuss now. Vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. The asexual mode of reproduction in plant is known as the vegetative propagation. Simple definition. Okay. And the specially structured part of the plant which involve in vegetative propagation is known as vegetative propagules okay so it is the specialized structures structure present in the plant okay which involve in this propagation vegetative propagation process okay now nothing much in this topic there are some different types of modifications now these parts these specialized parts are nothing but modified parts okay we know about stem okay we know about roots we know about leaves they are the basic structures of the plant these are going to be modified okay specially modified okay to help in vegetative propagation these modified structures are only known as vegetative propagules am i clear Okay, so there are some modifications we will be discussing. The first is that 
सब एरियल स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन ओके सब एरियल स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन देर आर डिफरेंट सब एरियल स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी से इट्स रन ऑफसेट ओके और स्टोलोन रानर ऑफसेट और स्टोलोन दीज आर दथिंग बट वेजिटेटिव प्रॉपरग्यूल सो नथिंग टू वॉरी अबाउट वेरी सिंपल थिंग ओके दीज आर दिन मॉडिफिकेशन सब एरियल स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन ओके सब एरियल स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन नो वॉट इज दिस सब एरियल सब एरियल मीन्स जस्ट अब द surface just above the soil surface the stem suppose if this is the soil surface the stem is horizontally growing just above the soil surface it may be a aquatic surface water surface in case of aquatic plant the stem is just horizontally developed over the water surface okay in case of terrestrial plant the this is the stem that modified that horizontally developed over the soil surface this is subaerial stem modifications so in different plants different different plants have different different namings so runner is a type of subaerial stem modification offset is a type of subaerial stem modification stolon is also the same one example there are one or two examples you have to remember cynodon which is a common is common name is the lawn grass you know that so in that we see the runner subaerial stem modifications okay Uh, just try, okay? Somewhere in the lawn, the grasses. You see the lawn grasses. If you just try to pull up the lawn grasses, you will see that you cannot, you know, take out one single grass. Once you try to do that, you will see that you know uh, they are connected to each other, and many of the grasses are coming together. It means that this is the horizontal stem from which the grasses are grown. Okay, that is the runner. Uh, another example you can write oxalis. is one more example okay now offset next offset is found in this is very very important econia and pistia okay econia we know it as water higher set okay let me write it a little uh, big so that you can understand it just one second so we are talking about offset okay offset so first i said it is econia okay uh, it's like this econia and pistia is another example pistia econia is a uh, common name is water hyacinth water hyacinth here okay and uh, pistia is water lettuce c water lettuce okay so common name this is the common names and what are this is econia this is pistia water hyacinth also somebody will get this is also known as the terror of bengal okay why because this was the plant which was introduced in Indi in, uh, in india in the bengal for the first time and the leaves of this plants are very you know beautiful so people they culture this okay in their you know lake or pond so once the flowers the leaves grow that is used for you know beautification decoration purpose okay so what happens is that first time when it was introduced so in a part in a lake what happens is that it has been found very fast very fast they reproduce they grow they fill up the whole lake or pond in our 2 3 days so what happens their cell division process is very high as a result of which their you know requirement demand of oxygen is also becomes very high as a result of which the other aquatic plants and animals they lack oxygen because most of the oxygen oxygen are used up by uh, the water hyacinth so the diet means rest of the uh, aquatic organisms due to lack of oxygen okay that's why it is known as flower of bengal anyways next is uh, uh stolon okay 
Stolon is there. Stolon examples like some wild strawberry. Uh, wild strawberry and jasmine are the plants where we see the stolons, subadial stem modifications. Okay. Next, so this is our subadial stem modifications. Now we will see underground stem modifications. Okay. Underground stem modifications. Rhizome is one example. Okay, rhizome is one example. Like we see, it is in ginger and uh, garlic. Okay. Next, you see here uh, tuber. Tuber is another example. Tuber, it is found in potato. We know it, okay. And then combs. Combs, one example is Amorphophallus, which is also known as Zami Kant. Some common examples. Another example you can also write Colocasia. Uh, Crocus is also there. Okay, these are the examples of underground stem modifications. Okay, and the next is we see bud modifications. Okay, simply bud modifications. Bud modifications one is uh, Saka is there which is a bud modification uh, at uh, stem and leaf at both sides the buds the grow they modified examples you can write mint and one very important uh, example is uh, chrysanthemum okay two different plants where we see sakar as the bud modifications at stem and leaf then you will see that Bud modifications, bud modifications, okay, in aquatic plant, okay, bud modifications in aquatic plant, you will see there, uh, it is uh, bulbil, okay, so this is one, this is another one, so bud modifications in aquatic plant, which is known as bulbil, it is found in agave, it's a plant, aquatic plant, or lily okay this kind of plants you will see bulbil as a bud modifications then you will see bud modifications in terrestrial plants terrestrial plants on land okay so turians is one example turians you will find in uh, potamo jetan is a plant or you will get it in uh, utricularia okay these are little you know uh, the term the names little sounds little difficult uh, for the first time maybe but once you go through it on a revision basis daily basis if you revise it you will definitely you know, can be able to uh, learn these things and remember these things so what which these are the vegetative propagules name i have given here these three okay you have to remember what type of modifications are these okay so this is bud modifications on the leaf and the stem as i have written here just you can just you know uh, jot, in, jot, jot this down in your copy then bud modifications in aquatic plant bud modifications is terrestrial plant okay examples are given with the plants this is the names and the examples of plants fine okay then we see leaf simply leaf modifications simply leaf modifications also we see like for example onion okay garlic these are the okay leaf modifications which is 
the vegetative papule is known as bulb okay so heat modification the name of the vegetative papule is bulb okay onion garlic are the example then there are leaf bud modification there is no uh, separate names given for the leaf bud modification so i'm just simply writing leaf bud modification the example found in the plant is bryophyllum means from the leaf itself okay the bud that grows modified and develop into a plant so what you can see here that i have told in the beginning that stem okay uh, then leaf okay all these different parts of the plant okay the develop even there are root the root modifications are also there we will also see that uh, root modifications you have also uh, uh, learned in uh, class 11 okay in morphology chapter so these are the different parts of the stem or uh, 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 the plant sorry part of the plant okay which modified and develop into a new plant by the mode of asexual reproduction and those special modified parts the names are given which are actually the vegetative propagules okay so this is uh, all about the asexual mode of reproduction all the different parts okay if you uh, have any doubt regarding these topics that we have discussed okay you can uh, ask the question in the comment section below of the video okay and uh, Definitely feel free to ask me any question and if you want me to discuss some more, I will be definitely, uh, you know, uh, I will be helping you in that case. So, jot this down and study it, okay. I am always there for your questions to be cleared, okay. So, in the comment box, you can write your questions, okay. So, wait for my next video, okay. Thank you so much.